Hello everyone, my name is Loco, and welcome to another video. Now today, I'm gonna be answering the question that I saw a lot of discussion about on my previous World of Warcraft video. I'm gonna discuss whether or not World of Warcraft is worth playing. Now, there's a couple of reasons why you would be playing it, and a couple of reasons why you shouldn't, but... In general, you know, you always need to be playing what you want to be playing. So don't let me tell you what you need to be playing, because that's not really who I am, right? I'm just gonna put a couple of points against each other, and hopefully I will convince you one way or another, or at least put some discussion out on the actual uh, subject. So, in the background you just see some actual uh, mage footage. I got a level 76 mage right now that I'm leveling up, so some uh, just some random World of Warcraft footage of the, of the character that I'm currently playing some. So there's a couple of reasons why you shouldn't be playing World of Warcraft. For example, the game is 10 years old. I mean, that is already a pretty big reason. I don't know the other games that came out uh, 10 years ago in 2004, but the game is 10 years old, meaning that the graphics are gonna be outdated, there's a couple of outdated mechanics, things just don't really feel as fluent as they do in modern MMORPGs, and you know, all in all, um, the game is just a bit old, okay? It's 10 years old. Second, the amount of players is declining. Now, it's still far and away the biggest MMORPG, so, you know, if you like the genre and, um, and, and you know, World of Warcraft is your, your kind of game that you actually enjoy, even though the amount of players is declining, it doesn't mean there's, like, few players. There's still, like, 7 million or something, and obviously this is in between expansions, so... Honestly, the amount of players is declining, but I don't really see that as a back point. Now, I guess the biggest non-selling point of World of Warcraft is the subscription fee, right? Because you need to be paying every single month, and last but not least, um, the world is sort of overwhelmingly huge, up to the point where a lot of new players are so overwhelmed by it that they don't really play it. Alright, so, to discuss this properly, I'm just gonna give you my point of view on all of these things, and hopefully I will be able to convince you one way or another. Alright, so first off, I'm gonna put this as one point, the game is turning 10 years old very soon, and the world is overwhelming you huge. Now this can be indeed overwhelming, and the game is outdated, can indeed feel like it's playing very clunky, but honestly, I see this as a huge advantage, because the game has been optimized for years and years and years. Things have been streamlining for forever, um, you know, the, the world is so big that you literally do never run out of things to do, okay? There are so many things you can do in World of Warcraft that I don't think there's anyone in the world that has even done everything, even in the 10 year span of time, except for like maybe two or three people that um, probably played a game like 12 hours a day for the last 10 years, okay? Um, so the game is really, really big, and I see that as a positivity that there is always new things to do. You literally do not grow bored of World of Warcraft as long as you don't play like more than five hours a day or something like that. There is always going to be something new to do, um, and that is actually one of the biggest selling points for me personally. Now, like I said, the amount of players is declining, but there is still far and away the biggest MMORPG, so I wouldn't be saying that um, as a bad thing. Now, the biggest thing, however, is the subscription fee. Alright, so most MMORPGs, be it Guild Wars or, or any of the other big MMOs out there, do not really require a subscription fee anymore. With World of Warcraft, you need to buy the game, you need to buy the expansions, and then you actually need to pay a monthly fee in order to play the, the actual world. Now the nice thing about this is, compared to like free-to-play MMORPGs or, you know, any of these kind of systems, is that there's no pay to win in the game, and that might sound very obvious, but... I've played many of RPGs, like many of MMORPGs, that you sort of just get to the max level and at that point you realize, alright, I can't actually compete with any of the top level players because they all spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds on getting the best gear. World of Warcraft is not like that. You purchase the game, you pay that monthly fee, and in exchange they give you stable servers, they will give you pretty much all the content in the entire game you can do, and after paying that fee you know that there's nothing else to pay, okay? So, I honestly think the pay to, uh, you know, pay to play, um, the pay to play subscription model is probably the best an MMORPG can choose. I know it might not work anymore in a nowadays audience, or in a modern game audience, um, it might not be the best subscription model, but I think it is not a downside to the game. I mean, it is $15 a month, like 12 euros a month or something like that. I mean, how many beers do you buy with that? If you go to a club or you go to a pub on a Saturday night, you're gonna spend that times three on a couple of beers and then you forget about it, right? If you play World of Warcraft for, let's say, two hours a day, 
that would mean for $15, you get about 60 hours of entertainment in return. That's sort of how I look at it, and I don't see the subscription fee as a big thing. I just prefer it to know that I have everything that the game has to offer within that subscription fee. So, these are the things that, um, you know, might put you down from playing World of Warcraft, but I honestly don't really see it as a bad thing, simply because, you know, it supports the developer, it, it ensures the best game experience that you can have, and it also, last but not least, gives you constant new development um, of new, you know, stuff to do in-game, pretty much. So, the one thing though about World of Warcraft, as you might have already guessed, is that you need to have some spare time. If you're gonna play World of Warcraft for a little bit every day, or you know, maybe you wanna hop on every other day or so and just play a little bit, honestly, you won't really get very much out of it. Um, it, it is definitely for the kind of gamer that is sort of hardcore and pretty much wants to play every single day and at least spends a couple of hours a day. If you cannot spend, let's say, at least two hours a day or, you know, maybe maybe two hours every other day at the very least, it's not really gonna be fun. You really need to be into it and you really need to be constantly playing to really get the joy out of it. Um, it's kind of difficult to, it's kind of difficult to explain this, but basically you have an auction house, which is sort of like a, a place where you can sell stuff. Um, and if you don't actually check that once a day, you will not really get very much out of it because you're just wasting all kinds of potential. So the biggest thing about if you're not, or if you want to play World of Warcraft or not, is that you need to have some actual time. If you don't have time, it's probably not going to be very much fun for you. Um, besides that, the game is for pretty much everyone. Um, I have met people that are like 10 years old and I've met people that are 50 years old and all in all I think that is completely cool. I, there's, there's obviously gonna be a major amount of people that are between like 20 and 25 years old or something like that, maybe a little bit older or maybe a little bit younger, I don't know. Um, but the game is pretty much for all ages which is nice and with that um, becomes, the, becomes the biggest thing that I really enjoy about World of Warcraft and that is meeting new people. <laughs> it might sound kind of silly, but in World of Warcraft, it is a team-based game and you need to work together with people. So if you're someone that goes off on your own, you can still play WoW, but it's not going to be as much fun. You really need to have some people to play with. And in World of Warcraft, you really do meet uh, tons and tons and tons of new people. And I personally really, really enjoy that aspect of the game. Um, besides that, there is so much to do, you can basically be a casual player who just uh, plays, you know, does like pet battles and like collects mounts and stuff, or you can be a hardcore raider where you do dungeons all the time, um, you, you can do player versus player, you can do PvE, and the nice thing about World of Warcraft is that when you get bored with one part of the game, you will actually, you know, just play another part of the game. Whereas, let's say you get bored of like another game, let's say you get bored of playing Tetris or whatever you do, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna be playing something else in Tetris, right? In World of Warcraft, if you get bored of raiding, you can start doing PvP. Or if you get bored of PvP, you can start getting like titles and quests done and everything that you really want to be doing. And World of Warcraft, it is so much content that at first it's gonna be overwhelming, but once you're actually playing it, it is pretty damn amazing. Now, obviously, there's different classes, there's different races, and there's just a ton of stuff to do. So, to sum it up once more, I'm, I'm rambling, I do realize it, but let's try and sum it up. Um, the game is 10 years old, the graphics are outdated, and there's a subscription fee. I think these are the things that most people get put off by, uh, but in exchange you get a ton of stories and lore, and you get a ton of content and just stuff to do. Um, and besides that, you can do pretty much anything you want, and you can be a character that you want to be. Besides that, you also meet a ton of new places, are players and a lot of places as well um, and whenever you get bored of playing one part of the game you can sort of switch into doing another thing and if you really get bored of your class you're playing great try out a different class because there are so many to choose from so you know hopefully this rambling helped you out at least in a couple of ways when it comes to deciding whether or not world of warcraft is worth playing for you um let me know what your thoughts are though if you made it all the way up to this point let me know what your thoughts are on world of warcraft and whether or not you think it is worth playing so please let me know right below that like button in the comment section. Um, let me know, do you play World of Warcraft? Do you enjoy playing it? Do you think it's good for new players to get into it? Or do you think, um, you know, the game is just outdated and you really shouldn't be playing it anymore? For me personally, definitely yes. I get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of gameplay into it. And I have pretty much enjoyed every single moment of it. 
Um, and I guess that is pretty much it. Yeah, there's not that much else to discuss, so let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, other than that, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and hit that subscribe button if you want to hear more of this rambling sort of stuff, as well as, uh, you know, all kinds of other games. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, and I will see you again in the next video.